Look at these dancing fools and their matching garish pinkness. What the fuck? I prefer white and gold myself. <laughs> What's this? Is that is that a race track? Oh god, we're doing it. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Destiny. And welcome to the Sparrow Racing League. Gotta go fast. Gots to go fast. And I'm the only one who doesn't match in some garish pink racing gear. <laughs> With that bunny thing on your speeder, I'm guessing. That that's the Jade Rabbit. That's the Jade Rabbit insignia. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. Have fun and race hard. Okay, so um, I suppose I should start off by finally actually describing what the Sparrow does, aside from get us from point A to point B. A hive are out in force. Now let it stop. So controlling the Sparrow isn't as simple as pointing in a direction and going. Um, it's kind of a combination of like Halo's Warthog and conventional rocket thruster driving. Right, because I know Halo's Warthog was as simple as pointing in direction and pressing forward. Yeah. So, um... You've seen me boosting literally everywhere I go. And that is that is my main method of travel. I, I never actually press the up uh, direction on the analog stick. It's all thrust all the time. And that, that's, that's what we're doing here, except now we have to navigate a course. Each of these gates makes us go fast and refills that little meter down by our speed. Um, and those are our uh, our side thrusts remaining. Uh, which, by the way, sparrows can thrust to the side. I don't usually do it. But it's kind of important in, in sparrow racing, actually. I gotta say it's really nice that Guardians get a little bit of time off from saving the Earth or what's left of the Earth to race speeders. Yeah, you know, Skolas is done. Nothing pressing is happening at the moment. Might as well take a load off, you know? Yeah, it's like Mario and crew, right? You know, sometimes yeah. they invite Bowser around for a game of tennis. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they even hop dimensions. And have some Olympics with Sonic. Who? Who? I don't know, man. You gotta go fast. I thought the point was to stay in the lead. So, so while you're racing, you get little snippets from your ghost and Amanda Holiday, who barely, up to this point, has had any speaking lines at all in the game, which is a shame because Amanda Holiday is a fantastic character, and I love her. It's just because she's been on holiday. You've done that before. Have I? God damn <laughs> I think it was the Destiny 2 beta video. Ooh. That, that, was a, that was a while ago. That was August, actually. God damn. No wonder I don't remember. Nice riding. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. There are, uh, there are stage hazards like any good racing game. Or any good kind of like Mario Kart-esque racing game, I should say. Right. What happens if you roadkill enemies? Eh, you get a little bit of experience, I think, maybe. But that's about it. Also, who are these two chuckle fucks with you at the moment? These two chuckle fucks are Random Ninja and fellow goon, the Heavenator. Last lap! Go for broke! So chuckle fucks was accurate. Pretty much. <laughs> they better not let you win, or I'll be very disappointed. No, no, they, they let me win nothing. Beautiful. Well, for one, I have no idea what I'm doing on these tracks because uh, this video, these these races were the first time I had ever actually done any Sparrow Racing League. So I had to kind of learn yeah. on the fly. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you haven't done this. No, I have not. But uh, Random Ninja and the Heavenator both have. But I'm a, I'm a fairly quick learner, and I already know how to control the Sparrow decently well. Uh, so, it's worth mentioning that the Sparrow is incredibly floaty, as you might expect from a floating speeder bike. 
Mm -hmm. uh, it has tons of sideward momentum when you when you take really uh, hairpin turns like that. So that's why the uh, the side thrusts are so important because they will actually stop your momentum and allow you to go straight forward after a turn. Which up to about this point in, in this race, I wasn't doing. God damn it, Bungie. Where's my Mario Kart in Destiny 2? <laughs> I'm still waiting for Uncarded. for their participation, but we have our winner. So yeah, my first what? race. Un Uncarded. Uncharted Kart. Anyway, this is my first race, and I, I hung in there. You know, only a second behind se uh, second. Only a second behind second, yes. You actually were right. Yeah, I know, I know I'm right, but that's such a weird sentence to say, and I've never actually said it before. Anyway, that's the first, uh, that's the first track. Hack on Prince, pre, pre, print, 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 yeah. Hack on Precipice on Earth. Now we're going to Venus. I'll give you a second try at that. I, d I don't need it. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'll fix it in post. There is no fixing in post. <laughs> uh. So the track on Venus is actually fairly interesting. As you can see, it doesn't loop back on itself. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's a one and done. Maybe. We'll see. Also, I'd like it known that I was not the one to put that reggaeton uh, dubstep music in. That was actually the game. That way. This one, this this race has a more traditional Destiny music music in it. Oh damn! I really love the dubstep. It was good, actually. I enjoyed it. Don't let them stop you. Mm, I was being sarcastic. I know you were, but I was not. Uh, what I need is like the most anime of anime. Should, uh, That's what gets me out of bed. So what you're telling me is that I need, I I need to splice some initial D in here. Sure, living in the '90s or whatever the hell the name of that song is. <laughs> Speedy go fast in the in the '70s. <laughs> this this track did not treat me kindly. At least not in the in the, uh, the first bit here. Wow, you just went straight through that. Nice realism, Bungie. <laughs> We've been I'm putting over that down this. in the final end game. We've end been game over this. It's space magic. Okay, I used space magic to, to get through. Mm. And maybe a little bit of boost. Because you know I had Look, to not go there. Jesus. <laughs> not not everything can be hand waved with space magic. So here we go. Hey, we're back at the oh. start. Oh, hey, look, it's a Vex teleporter. Mm -hmm. the guardians so have, nice. The Guardians have repurposed the technology to make race tracks. <laughs> oh, here I thought the Vex had purposely built it. Just for the Guardians to race. Alright, so... These gates, when you pass through them, you've... I've probably mentioned it, I don't know, I've already forgotten the last 10 minutes. But, um, you have. Yeah, they, they, they give you a boost of momentum, but the thing about it is they give you that boost in the direction you were already moving. So, it's a bit more difficult than it might seem to control. Add that I on like top. How... Go ahead. I was just going to say, I like how in the far future when Earth is basically dead and there's only one last bastion of humankind left, they hold races and still manage to get sponsors. <laughs> like, we as a species just like, hey, I need I need entertainment to pass the time. Put the holo TV on and we'll watch some sparrow racing. Well, the Guardians aren't known for being sane individuals in the best of times. Well, they've been revived again and again and again. <laughs> Who knows what kind of toll that would have on the mind. I 
I mean, basically, they hold blood sport for fun, so... Well, if you're talking about the Crucible, that actually has a stated purpose. That That's actually being used to train newly resurrected Master. guardians. Go! In universe, at least. Yeah. That sounds like something I'd have to read in, like, a Destiny novel or something like that. Extended universe. It's called the Grimoire, and I've been posting them all. Which, by the way, I'll, I'll be, uh... I'll be posting the House of Wolves Grimoire update with this update. You seem to think I read the thread. Well, I mean... I mean, I do, but I'm not gonna read those Grimoire updates. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs all that lore, anyway? You're just talking about the game. Lore is for nerds. <laughs> so, on this track, you probably already noticed, but it has the, um, everyone's favorite Fallen Mines mm -hmm. as, uh, as some stage hazards. I also like the fact that I don't know who more than one life is, I'm guessing that's Random Ninja. That, yeah, that's Random Ninja. Is just miles that's ahead right. of you guys. We have a winner. He is probably the most experienced um, at just about the entire game in A, the thread, and B, this race in particular. Hmm. So what is this meant to teach? Okay. The Crucible is meant to teach new guardians. What is this meant to teach? Nothing. This is legitimately just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> And honestly, I kind of like it. It it may be floaty and hard to control, but I kind of like it. Surprised you didn't get into it when Destiny was in its heyday. Uh, it was. It came out probably right around the Threads break. That doesn't mean you so, can play it, you know, by yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah it does. <laughs> you know why? Oh, okay. <laughs> Reasons. Reasons, yes. Anyway, welcome back to Mars. It's our next track. R L. Go! Make us look good. Okay, what's the soundtrack of choice for Mars? Uh the same as the last race, as it turns out. It's it's completely randomized. But hey, there's Taken. Ah. Who? Um, weird guys. There's weird guys on the track. Uh, those guys sure are taking me aback. <laughs> I had completely... Okay, full disclosure, I completely forgot that we haven't even seen these idiots. Um, well, I mean, they, we have, but we've tried so hard, read not hard at all, to conceal them. Mm-hmm. Also, I like how this is the closest race I've had so far. And then I fall behind because I don't know the track as, as well as <laughs> Ninja. So yeah, in Destiny 1 lore, we haven't encountered these um, shadowy figures. Never mind the man behind the curtain. One day, I'm guessing... One day... Taken King? Maybe next week. Ooh. And finally, we can talk about them. <laughs> Maybe I can get some clarification on what the fuck they are. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, Mars's track is fairly straightforward. Nothing... Nothing terribly new. Oh, where'd the other guy go? Oh, there he is. He's not moving. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Yeah, yeah, he's he's there. No worries. So yeah, a lot of these races come down to, like I said, track knowledge because um, some paths may seem easier or nicer to navigate, but they're ultimately slower because you really want to be on the straightest path you can be through these gates. 
And sometimes the gates aren't even where you want to be. Sometimes you want to avoid them to go a faster way. It's weird. It's all about learning the meta. <laughs> the racing meta. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Also, don't don't smack your face into rocks. That's like the third time this video that <laughs> I just slammed full force into a rock. And take note, everybody. That's also good life advice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn it. Stupid turbines, man. Yeah, also don't run your face into those. That's a good way to lose... Not just an eye, but a face as well. <laughs> so let me another let me reason tell you, I... I'm not a fan of that. <sighs> I had to get that in there. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> so, as I was going to say before that that thing that I won't be acknowledging. Uh, the, the, another reason I really like the sparrow racing is that you can actually get an idea of how fast you move on a sparrow. 130 kilometers an hour. Not very slow. Oh, they boosted up to 160. In, uh, at least I think they did. I don't know. It's all power levels in Destiny 2. So you have like 160 power sparrow. God knows what that translates into a usable speed. I don't. I don't think the 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 number on like the sparrow item matches the actual speed they can obtain. Probably not, no. So yeah, also, despite the fact that the Sparrow hovers a good foot off the ground, uh, you can still get caught up on geometry, because of course you can. I mean, they have to be semi-realistic, I guess. Maybe. Fucking, fucking turbines! And that's how Python lost that day, when he was coming second the entire time. <laughs> God damn it. Not even a blue shell could be Python's undoing. That's it, folks. We've got a winner. Oh, man. Also, the race would have ended well before I had actually blown up, but uh, Random Ninja was kind of... He was allowing me to display the entire race, even though the race was clearly over. <laughs> How nice of him. <laughs> That's five minutes of our lives we'll never get back. Oh, don't worry. I've made a lot of these videos. That's a lot of hours of my life I'm never getting back. <laughs> hey, there's a new planet. Mercury. What's Mercury? You see, it's the closest planet to our sun. What's the sun? I don't know, some magic ball of light? Gas. Heat. It's not a ball of light, Python. Look. I mean, what's a ball of light? S R L. So we, so we, so we get our reggaeton dubstep back for this one. This was not what I had. Oh, beautiful! Is there only two tracks? I think there might be. Dubstep and Destiny Orchestra. <laughs> so this track, unlike the last couple, is actually really interesting. Uh. Well, we'll see why in a little bit here. But, I mean, here's this big wide open area with rocks! Mmm. Now this is pod racing. And rocks! And more half turbines. Have you passed the bulb yet? <laughs> Are you calling Heavenator Sebulba? Or are you calling Random Ninja Sebulba? I can't I can't tell. I don't know, whoever wants to be Sebulba. No one wants to be Sebulba, but you know, they can fight over it. 
All right, so we're coming up on we're coming up on the actually interesting part of this track. Splitting paths, and everyone took this Ooh. one. So on the next lap, you're gonna show off the other path, right? I think I might. I don't know. It's been a while since I've recorded this. Yes, what do you mean? It was just yesterday. Yeah, sure. We'll go with that one. But yeah, this track allows you to get some really nice air. And uh, if I had been thinking about it, I am actually riding a sparrow that allows you to do sick tricks. Wow, you gotta hang ten, bro. Yeah, man. Do some natty tricks. But I wasn't thinking about it, so... Rip. I was thinking about winning, which was never even possible. Hmm. So I was at least about winning. I was at least trying, okay? It may not look like it, but I was trying. Hey, next can we um Can we race through, I don't know, giant Vex robot? <laughs> like Galacticus or whatever the hell his name is from the Transformers movie. That would be pretty cool, I think. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. But that doesn't exist in Destiny. Oh, nope, this lap I'm taking the right path again. If you don't shut off that other path, life, and I'm done with commentary. <laughs> I'm out of here. I was told this was a 100% LP. Oh, yes. Definitely 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> Max weapon rolls, all that sort of stuff, 100%. Yeah. No. <laughs> I love Destiny, but this has already gone on for like two years plus. Well, there shouldn't be... I don't know how many more videos there are left, but there's only two expansions. Only two expansions to go. It's glorious. Two years in the making. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that gate, but I've th I think I missed it every single time I passed through that tunnel. Nah, fuck that gate. Apparently. Also, fuck that pillar. Lord knows I was certainly trying to. Hmm. I hear pillars are kind of, you know, good to avoid. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, Piping gonna take the, the other path? The left path? Mm. Let's find out. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. I'm done. I was very focused on trying to catch up to Random Ninja, which, by the way, I did a fairly okay job at. Yeah, you're not actually that far behind him this time. Oh, you almost did a trick there. Yeah. Whoops. I was trying to do a sick drift through the through the gate. Yeah, only, off. only six seconds behind him. Ultimately not bad for how bad he's trashed me in the previous races. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's it. That's Sparrow Racing. You've seen it now. We can go home. <laughs> we can move into the Taken King. Woo! Sick donuts. Finally, it's here. The turning point of destiny, as I've been told by Python. <laughs> See you next time.